Congress has slammed U.S. ambassador after what the U.S. ambassador said in the case of uh, Manipur. This is the remark that the U.S. ambassador made saying that uh, the U.S. is willing to help India if it needs so in the case of Manipur, which has, of course, seen a lot of violence. Now, the Congress has slammed this and said that this is where the U.S. doesn't understand sensitivities. This is U.S attempting to meddle in India's internal affairs and this is highly condemnable. So US ambassador to India, remember Eric Garcetti, had said that the US will help India if asked as far as Manipur is concerned. Let's listen in to what Eric Garcetti said. We just, we pray for peace there. Um, when you ask, does it concern the United States, I don't think it's about strategic concerns. I think it's about human concerns. I think all of us, um, you don't have to be Indian to care um, when children or, or um, individuals die in the sort of violence that we see. And we, we know that peace is the precedent for so many other good things. There's been so much progress in the Northeast and in the East here. The country has done some remarkable things in recent years, and those can't continue without peace. So. We stand ready, willing, able to assist in any way of asked, but we know this is an Indian, um, this is an Indian matter, and we pray for that peace that it may come quickly, because we can bring more collaboration, more projects, more investment uh, if that peace is in place. We have never told the U.S. that when there have been mass shootings, that they should take a lesson in gun control from us, or you know we can help them or show them the path as to how. Gun control needs to be done. You know, the U.S. has a history of racial violence. We have ever, never tried to teach them pluralism or secularism. So I think uh, the U.S. ambassador should be careful and perhaps uh, take a brief on uh, what has been the trajectory of the Indo-U.S. relationship in the past 75 years. So that is what the Congress has to say, that the U.S. has to be a little bit more careful when, of course, speaking on internal matters of India. The Congress, of course, slamming U.S. Ambassador to India, Eric Garcetti's remark on Manipur. My colleague, Mosmi Singh, is joining us live at the moment. Mosmi just spoke with Manish Tiwari, Member of Parliament. Mosmi, Manish Tiwari is saying that this is very unprecedented in the way that Eric Garcetti has commented on internal affairs of India. You know, uh, Manish Tiwari was very pointed in his attack when he said that uh, he should be reminded of the tumultuous uh, history of in, uh, India-America relations. And, you know, interestingly, Paul Amit, today Rahul Gandhi is also going to do a press conference and that's going to be on the same uh, issue of Manipur and the way uh, the violence has escalated there and uh, the way there is, uh, the two communities are bitterly divided. But importantly, there, there could be a question on what the U.S. ambassador has to say. And uh, Manish Tiwari is treading uh, very cautiously on these grounds because Rahul Gandhi, if you remember, when he was in UK, uh, he was uh, accused and slammed by the BJP for saying that the Europe and the U.S. are turning a blind eye to what's happening in India. So, uh, you know, it's a tit for tat that's continuing and Manish Tiwari there, uh, you know, even going on to the extent of saying that, uh, you know, the U.S. ambassador should actually take care of of uh, Indian uh, sensitivities as far as meddling with its internal affairs are concerned. Okay. Mani. Mosmi, thank you so much for joining us with all of those uh, details. Mosmi there spoke earlier with Manish Tiwari. It's going to be interesting because Rahul Gandhi, as she said, will be addressing a press conference today and it's going to be on the subject of Manipur. So there's going to be the question, of course, about the comments that the US ambassador to India has made regarding Manipur.